What's up YouTube, Brian from AB Genetics. Welcome back to the channel. So I know it's been about a month, month and a half since I put my last video out. Uh, I believe that was the Confusion Het Lavender Pied Clutch. Um, so I've had a new clutch hatch out since then. Uh, I've been a little busy. I didn't get to record it. I also went on vacation out to Prince Edward Island. Um, had an unfortunate uh, incident with one of our dogs and ended up basically in the University of, uh, of PEI the entire time. Um, getting surgery, emergency surgery on her and everything. She's she's great. She's back to normal now. Uh, she's just got a bunch of stitching. She had a big abscess in her throat, um, or in her neck is more the right way to say it. Um, but they, they attacked it in a good surgery. And good, amazing team of doctors there. Um, and, and she's back to normal now, thankfully. Unfortunate that it happened during a holiday, but uh, we roll with the punches with uh, family members. We look at our dogs like family members, so whatever we're going to do, we're going to take care of them, and, uh, and that's, that's what happened. But she is back to normal now. Uh, it's our second oldest Dane, Cersei. Um, so, like I said, she's back to normal now, and, and everything is uh, all is well. So, um, so basically what this video is going to be, is going to be a showcase of some things that I never got to show you guys. And uh, there's a couple bangers here, so let's have a look, and we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so to start things off, just a couple of the more kind of simple animals that I got out of the clutch. So this was, this was the um, Lavender Albino Het Pied to my Confusion Het Lavender. I believe this was the last video I put out was the, the cutting of that. So, so just to actually confirm, I think I had suspected two Confusions, one normal. So in fact what it was was one Confusion Het Lav. 50% um, had pied, two normal uh, het lab, 50% had pied, but the normals were really wonky looking, so I mean that, that was obviously the confusion right there. Ha! <laughs> the confusion in the confusion clutch. So, um, so actually what it was, was was two normals, but very, very unique animals. I mean look at that pattern. Almost, uh, you know, some banding across there. Alien heads banding, so just just strange clutch couple strange normals um, you know you see the elongated pattern on the tail and then um, you know some pretty solid het pied tracks and uh, you know some oddball belly pattern on that so you know you can see the my confusion in the confusion clutch maybe that's why they call it that but all in all Solid clutch. Uh, so I actually ended up uh, with a 1.1 normal 100% het lavender, 50% het pied. Um, so 1.1 male and a female. So I'll probably be selling them as a pair. So if anybody's interested, uh, reach out to me. Um, you know, obviously I'll, I'll be letting them go for a, a solid good price. Um, two normals, 100% het lav, 50% het pied, male and a female, sell them as a pair. So if anybody's interested, uh, it's a great entry level into possible dreamsicles, but at, at the very least, lavenders. Um, so I'll let them go for a good price. So if anybody's interested, give me a shout, let me know. Okay, so this next one I'm gonna show you. So this next one I'm gonna show you, this is the, this was actually a, a really, really amazing clutch, had amazing potential. Um, I hit a couple great animals, but, I got, I got shafted with the clutch count. So this was uh, my lesser spot nose clown to uh, pastel leopard desert ghost, 50% uh, head G stripe. Now, so my obviously the majority of my clown collection came from uh, Justin over at Canova, but um, my DG collection came from Joris Vanderhills over in Netherlands. In my opinion, um, some of the, the highest quality DG in the world. Um, very excited when I got this clutch. Uh, the girl's about two, two and a half years old. Uh, so the problem is I got skunked on the numbers. So I ended up only getting a two egg clutch. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna complain too bad. I'll take these two eggs over nothing. Um, obviously, uh, with such a banner clutch with, uh, you know, the future in my solid DG Clown collection, um, I, you know, a nice six or eight banger would have been great, but it is what it is. I'm not complaining, just stating the facts here. So, first one I've got to show you. So, this is a male pastel lesser 
hundred percent double het for DG and clown. Um, and this male is absolutely gorgeous on his own. Amazing floating alien heads. Like you can imagine just how incredible that's going to look as a visual. Uh, if this just came out as a visual like that, I would have been completely impressed. Absolutely gorgeous pattern. Very vi bright, vibrant, good solid deep blacks. Nice fading from that lesser. Still to this day, I, I don't understand how people bag on lesser because it's, it's such a beautiful gene. You know, you just have to manage it properly. You, you can't have a collection filled with lesser. You want to be strategic with your lesser pairings, but um, if you if you don't have lesser in your collection or Mojave, I, I mean you're just missing out because the the black fading down to white it's just such an amazingly gorgeous uh, look. And when you start adding in other jeans, I mean this is just this is only a pastel lesser, but it's gorgeous. Now granted, it may have some influence from the clown and the the het clown and DG, but still, I mean check that out gorgeous now once again this is a male pastel lesser double head DG clown now he is available I do ship to the States uh, for big enough orders I do ship to Europe but anything in the in North America um, barring Mexico anything uh, inside US and uh, Canada I do free shipping over orders of $1,000. So if you're interested, hit me up. Boy's amazing. I'll tell you, if I had a bunch of, uh, if I was getting into the Desert Ghost Clown project, I mean, such a solid mail to head up your project. Because as we all know, pastel um, is just a key, a key element in DG and in DG Clown, DG anything really. Um, so. DG is 100% where pastel uh, is necessary in combinations. So here you go. Pastel lesser, 100% het DG clown. Uh, a slight chance of possible G stripe, but you know, so low I wouldn't even count it at that point. Um, and actually, just recently, my lesser spot nose clown was proven to be 100% het pied uh, through genetic testing. A bunch of his offsprings have been tested positive. Um, so, slight chance that this really could be 50% het pied as well. So, so imagine that. Male, pastel lesser, 100% het um, DG clown, 50% het pied, possible uh, het g-stripe. Absolutely powerhouse here. Hit me up. Gorgeous, gorgeous male. And this next one, this is the second out of the two eggs. So this is my hold back. I, I absolutely love this. So this is my female lesser leopard. 100% double head DG clown. And 50% head pied. Which I'll tell you, anytime you see leopard, lesser, leopard blackhead combos, and you see it all linear, uh, you see the pattern linear like this and striped out, chances are it's a strong indicator of possibly being hep hide. So if I was a betting man, which I am not, I would actually bet on this being triple hep. I would bet on this being a beautiful female lesser leopard. 100% head DG clown pied. Slight possibility of head G stripe. I wouldn't even count it though, as I said. But look at that. Look at that stripe. Head to tail. Absolutely unbelievable. 
it looks almost identical to my blackhead leopards. Pure white belly. Look at that elongated pattern. To me, that's screaming hep hide. Both sides, you basically have just big lines and that gorgeous leopard pattern. Absolutely amazing. One of my favorites, just from the look. I mean, forget the fact that it's 100% head DG Clown, which is just wild. Um, you know, potentially head pied. Um, imagine if this proves head pied. I could really be pushing this into DG Clown, DG Clown pied, DG pied, clown pied. There's so much area, except for, of course, Lesser brings in uh, white pieds. So it would definitely wouldn't be something I would push for, but it's, it's a huge bonus. Gorgeous. Amazing holdback. Super, super bright. So here's a clutch I did um, a few months back. So the... It was from my lesser spot nose clown, again, that male, I'll, I'll give you guys a heads up, he's gonna be available soon. Uh, I have a couple males coming in to replace him and I've grown up some males to replace him. So any interest on a, an amazing quality lesser spot nose clown hat pied uh, straight from Justin at Canova. Uh, I bought him about four years ago. Uh, the guy is single-handedly built, I bet you, 50% of my collection. Like. The guy is a stud. He breeds constantly, locks constantly, eats year round. He never breaks food for breeding. Uh, and he has sired, I'll bet you, I'll bet you three dozen clutches. I'll bet you 36 clutches on my end, he's sired. Amazing, amazing male. Uh, has, has paid for himself his first year out. But either way, uh, this was my lesser spot nose clown to my OD fire spot nose um, het clown got from canova as well uh, so two canova purchases so amazing offspring here so uh, this right here is a fire lesser spot nose het clown gorgeous look at that look at how bright and beautiful that is eats like a champ this guy's eating smalls uh, and he is a boy he is a boy yeah, he is a boy. So this boy is eating small live rats. Eats like a champ. Absolutely beautiful. Fire lesser spot nose heck clown. Hit me up if you're interested. I, I do group buys. I do uh, pairings. If you're interested in a male female pairing, uh, I, I, I'm more than happy to work with you on something for that absolutely gorgeous let me know if you're interested this right here is actually a hold back from that pairing this is let me get her untangled this is a female OD lesser spot nose 100% head clown Yo, you know what? In hindsight, uh, I didn't mark it because at the time I, I wasn't confirmed, but these are actually all um, hep pied as well. 50% hep pied, sorry. These are all 50% hep pied. The testing, the results came back after. So, um, so this in fact is an OD lesser spot nose, 100% hep clown, 50% hep pied. That male fire uh, lesser spot nose hep clown is also 50% hep pied. This girl is, is absolutely gorgeous. I, I really do love OD and Lester together, uh, but Spot Nose just takes it up another notch with the pattern. Look at that. Look at that wild, wild female. OD is so nice. Gorgeous. See if I can get her to open up just a little bit here. There you go. 
little shy, but you know what's funny is they eat, they eat like crazy. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me know what you think of that combination. I love it. This is my, this is my special little animal from that clutch. This is the first animal I've had to assist feed here. I put so much effort into this boy. This is a male OD Fire Powerball Clown. Powerball, for those who don't know, is a super spot nose. So this is an Orange Dream Fire super spot nose clown visual male. What a powerhouse. Super small, did not eat. I had to assist feed tails and then pinky mice, then pinky rats. Now he's eating on his own. He has been for a while. Absolutely gorgeous. Just in love with this male. Can't wait for him to grow up. Powerhouse. Right, so how's that, guys? So some pretty cool bangers right there. A uh, couple things available, uh, as I showed. So feel free, if you're interested, hit me up. Uh, always happy to work with people on anything you need. Um, and if you're interested in anything you might not see that you think I, I might be working on, let me know. I'm always up for the conversation. I help everybody out as best I can. But how's that? Let me know what you think about those holdbacks too. The OD Fire Powerball Clown, the OD Lesser Spot Nose Heck Clown, uh, all 50% have pied. They're all eating like champs. They're all ready to go. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for coming back to AB Genetics. Subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you can see all my new videos coming up. Comment down below if you like what I'm doing and you like where my projects are headed. If you're interested in the same genetics that I'm interested in. So uh, CRBE is coming up soon in Toronto. Uh, we'll see all you guys there. Uh, I'm not vending this year, hopefully next year, but at the very least I am headed down there. All right, so again, Brian from AB Genetics. Thanks for coming back. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.